Hi, this is Julie with Bita Halik, and I want to show you how to make the Abacus bracelet, which is an exclusive kit from BitaHalik.com. And this is named because, as you can see, it's got these little slider beads, which are very reminiscent of the beads on an abacus, which is an ancient counting tool. So included in this kit are all the items you see right here. And you're going to get a tube of E6000 glue, which is a very strong industrial strength glue. You're going to get a nice long length of this rubber pleather cord. A clasp set it has a recess here that you're going to be able to put glue in. Two of these nice wide spacer beads and a dozen of these little gold beads. In terms of the tools you're going to need, you're going to need a ruler. You're also going to need a couple pieces of wire or toothpick, some scrap that you'll be able to use to apply the glue and a pair of scissors. So to begin, we're going to cut our rubber length and we're going to need six strands that are six inches long each. And this is going to make for an approximately seven and a half inch bracelet. So if you want yours to be longer or shorter, go ahead and adjust this first step accordingly. And as you can see, you're going to have a lot of leftover pleather cord. Gather all your cords together. Okay. Now we're going to open up our bottle of E6000 glue. You can see that it's sealed. To break the seal, there's a little point on the opposite side of your cap. Go ahead push it down and the glue will be released. You'll want to work in a well ventilated area when you're using E6000. Go ahead, put a nice generous amount on your applicator, which could be a toothpick, scrap piece of wire, whatever you're using. And I'm going to squeeze out some more. And I'm going to put it into that recess and I'm just going to fill, fill it up, fill that bottom, make sure it gets along the sides. And then close my cap back up. Take all of my cords, make sure all the ends are the same length, that they're even here. Bundle them together and stick them into the glue. And I'm just pressing them in place. One quick note, I have my hook facing in. You can see these are naturally curling on their own. Now at this point, set it down to dry for a half an hour. So I've let this dry for a half an hour. Ideally, I really like to let E6000 glue overnight. So I'm gonna show you a little tip just to make sure that your strands stay in place. I just have some tape here. And I'm just going to put it over the clasp and the strands. And all this is going to do is it's just going to hold them in place as I continue working on my bracelet. Just like that. Okay, and you can see I at this point don't have them super tight. I have the tape around the base of the clasp because what I want to be able to see how these strands lay before I squish that tape down. And you'll see what I mean in just one second. So we bundled all the ends together to stick them into the clasp, but now I want them to lay end on end flat. So just going to kind of look in there, see how they come out of the clasp because I don't want them overlapping each other. And I just want to form nice, neat little rows. There we go. And at this point, I am going to squish my tape down which is also going to have the effect of holding my rows in place. So now, walking along the rows of rubber, because I don't want them to overlap, I'm going to get to the other end of my bracelet. And I am going to slide on one of my sliders. Now remember, I cut these all to be an identical length, but they look uneven. And that is just 
because of how they are curving. So I'm going to slide this in, slide this down, and I want it to be about an inch and a half from the end of the clasp. So now what I'm going to do, see now they look a little bit more even, but we're going to actually trim them at the end anyways. I'm going to place two slider beads on each end. Slide them all down, and you'll see that this end slider is going to prevent them from sliding down towards your clasp. Now I kind of like it that these are all nice neat rows so that the beads can just slide freely. If you wanted to do a variation on this kit, you could actually start to do something like this where you tangle the cords up. But for my purposes, I'm going to, oops, ah, keep these guys from falling off. Okay, so now I'm gonna, again, make sure that my rows are nice and straight and not overlapping. There we go. And I wanna slide on the other wide slider. So this is what we've got so far. And what's nice is this cord really does curve on its own. So just double check that all your rows are straight. And at this time, if you want, you can pull it so that you have more room in there. And if you wanted to, you could glue these sliders in place. I actually like them just being free, but that's up to you. So now I'm going to go ahead line up all of our cords again and at this point I want you to trim them so that they're all even. There we go. We're going to take our E6000, the other end of our clasp, another little toothpick or piece of wire as an applicator, fill that recess with glue, Be pretty generous with the amount because you want it to coat all the sides. Okay, now I'm going to bundle these together and stick them into my clasp. And I'm really pushing them in because I want them to make sure that they touch that glue and that glue really seeps into them. Okay, you might wanna, before this end is totally glued, make sure that it's going to line up with the hook, which it does. And then you're just going to go ahead and let this dry overnight. If you are concerned that your cords are pulling out at all, just take a piece of tape like you did before. Push those into place. and wrap the cords, and that's just gonna stabilize them as it dries. Okay, and then after this dries and you're all done, go ahead, remove the tape in the morning, and I do just, like I said, I like to err on the side of caution, let that dry overnight, and this is what you're going to end up with. And now these do slide, you could glue them in place, and these slide as well, and again, you could glue them, but I really like to be able to just play with them. I like that they move. So this here is your finished abacus bracelet, and you can find the exclusive kit on betaholic.com.